I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Don't fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye, not through it. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... Tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run! I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just... A little further! Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Threat! He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. amount of cosmetic damage. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta! Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a woman with one eye. 